Here we have a John Deere Model 60 that uh, reassembling the transmission on. You can see the uh, crankshaft of the engine here uh, directly centered and the input shaft of the transmission is, is right here. Uh, below that is the PTO. Um, so we've reassembled the transmission and I will show you all the gears. This is the, the internal. Um, let me see if I can get better. Yeah, you can't really see the bottom shaft too well. Maybe a little bit there. Um, and then here's the last set of gears. So if if we um, turn the input shaft here, see the whole counter shaft rotates. There's a high and low range, which is controlled by this gear right here. This is direct connection. And then if you look down below, and if, that's a high range so if I spin the input shaft now you can see the input shaft is spinning slower than the counter of the sliding gear shaft so low range so one to one and then high range see the difference in speed so that's half of it and down below uh, really difficult to see because of the lighting there is a cluster gear that makes that happen it's right there you can kind of see it so but the other gears here this represents uh, first gear over over this way when it goes to the left a little bit that's first gear you can see now that spins okay and then this goes back to neutral this one slides over that becomes second gear it's a little faster there so move that out of the way and then engage this gear that becomes third gear okay so we disconnect this one go to high range and now this pinion becomes fourth, this becomes fifth gear, and then this one becomes sixth gear. Reverse is accomplished by sliding this pinion directly into the differential. Of course, once we spin the differential right here, the bull gears right there, Turn the spur gears on the rear end. I hope that kind of makes sense. It's a very simple transmission. It looks complicated, but it's, it's extremely easy to work on.